Christmas to all, and to all a good night. <laughs> it is your girl, Destiny Austin, and welcome back to the Fala Little La Holiday Specials. Today, we are going to be talking about Black Friday preparation tips. I'm really excited about this because I don't want you all to get out there and miss those deals because you are unprepared. Okay, so that's what we're gonna be talking about today. But before we get started, do not forget to subscribe. Click that subscribe button that's gonna be to the right of your screen. And do not forget to hit your notification bell so you get all your updates about every single time I post. Okay, thank you all again so much for watching. Let's get started. One, read and compare Black Friday ads. People, I cannot tell you how important this is. If you get asked ads in the mail, this is really when Black Friday starts, is when you start getting your ads in the mail, because that means that the stores have got their stuff already marked down. They already know what it's going to be, your prices, and you can start comparing prices to Macy's, to JCPenney's, and Lowe's, to Home Depot, and wherever you're going, start looking at the ads. Decide if you are going to shop online or in store. Doesn't it seem like that's the most crucial decision in the world? Do I avoid the rush of trying to fight people to get out of my way so I can get what I need to get and and, and standing in line all night and all this? Do I avoid that and just shop online where you can just calmly in, in the piece of your own home, get online and just click exactly what you want and the size you want and have it sitting at your doorstep before Christmas? and still get the same deals or enjoy going out to the malls and 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 the stores and fighting people and and yeah sometimes i just feel like that's what christmas is about you don't get the same thrill from ordering online i know some people do i'm saying for me i actually like on thanksgiving night like when the stores open up at like midnight just going and not that i'm gonna buy anything if i see something great then great but um i don't go with the intentions to buy that night i actually go on black friday but um it's just fun just to see all they have all the decorations and just all the stuff it's just really really fun so i'm not for either or um I'm, i do shop online and i do go to the stores but Tip number two is to decide whether you're going to online shop or in-store shop. Three, start window shopping early, people. Start making your list and checking it twice. And this is for the people who are going to the in-store shopping, okay? Sometimes to avoid the mishaps and jumping over people and, and all that or whatever, if you make a list and you know what you're getting, there's no hassle because you're going straight to that area. You're going straight to that area. There's no, there's no like, oh, okay, what to get, well, what, what to get first? What, what? No, start window shopping early, people, and you start looking around in your house, see what you want, start um, deciding who you're getting gifts for this year, write them down, how much you spending on that person, what you want to get that person. Make a list, window shop, so that you are prepared for have an in-store game plan. When you shop on Black Friday, and I know all y'all know this, a lot of times you get in there and you get all discombobulated with just what's going on and all the all the deals and just everything and and no first of all let's just go back to the the beginning please people be on time if you're going out there to get those door busters then you need to be busting that door do not show up an hour after the store opens and then now you're mad because the tvs are gone the tvs that were a hundred dollars are gone no get there on time people as hard as it is put the thanksgiving plate down and get to that store secondly have your list have your money just have everything in place. Know what you are getting so that you can go directly to where you need to go, get what you need to get, and get out. When you have a game plan, you just avoid the chaos. It's just it's just chaotic those nights are. And have a game plan, you avoid the chaos. Five. Price match. The majority of a lot of stores nowadays price match online items. If you find it cheaper somewhere to get your purchase, they will price match it to whatever price you find online. I don't know if you are were aware of that, but I am the queen of price matching. Whatever you want, you can find it cheaper somewhere. And the store will price match that item for the exact price that it is online or at another store. Something can be $59.99 at their store, and if it's $39.99 at another store, boom. You just saved 20 bucks. Yes, price match. Six, avoid impulse buying. 
And this is the reason why I say to have a list and check it twice. Because sometimes when you get in these stores, like I say, you, you get excited when you see all these deals and there's people everywhere and you got money and you're just ready to spend. And you walk out the store and you get in your car with all these bags and you're so excited and you get home and you open everything up and realize you didn't get nothing that you needed. <laughs> or everything that you got is in the wrong size. Or that you realize that you overspent and now you done dibble dabbled over into your bill money and now you are messed up. Don't do that people, please calm down. The sales are there, you're gonna get what you need, okay? And if you can, you can always order online, people. Calm down. Impulse buying is the enemy to Christmas shopping and it's, it is the reason why there are so many returns after Christmas. Stick with your list, that's why I say window shop early, have your list, have your game plan, have your list when you go into the store so that you know what you're getting so that you can spend effectively, people. The, the key is to spend effectively, not just, just randomly. Seven, beware of final sale items. This one kind of ties in with the impulse buying. And the reason why I say beware of final sale items is final sale means there are no returning. There's no returning for your money back. And if you out here just impulse buying, just swiping that card, just throwing that cash out just because you got it, you gonna buy something that you can't get your money back for and you gotta just stick with it and live with something that you just wasted your money on. Also, beware of final sale items because a lot of times during this season they mark down um, stuff and if it's final sale, it's usually because it's damn it might be damaged It might be messed up. There's something wrong with it and just check into it I didn't say don't buy final sale items. Just be aware of them and just make sure that you are aware To check in on why this is a final sale item and last but certainly not least number eight be a polite customer and I take this one very very seriously because I used to work retail and I know Retail workers always have a bad reputation of having an attitude during the holiday season. I get it. But I'm gonna stand in the gap for them, okay? And I'm gonna let you know why. It's because you all are rude, okay? You're rude, you want what you want, you're just fighting over stuff, and you're just acting like you ain't got no sense. I know that the store's model is that the customer is always right, but you know that you are not always right. Okay, and, and don't get in that store because you're an hour late and all the $100 TVs are gone. So now you're gonna cuss the sales girl out because you didn't get a $100 TV because you was late. All of a sudden it's the worker's fault. When you were late, sir, you were late, ma'am. It's not my fault. So people, please understand that these retail workers are working late shifts, early mornings. They're there at the crack of dawn and they're there until late night, we of the hours after you all have gone and gone to sleep. On Thanksgiving day, they are required to work until two and three and four in the morning, some stores. So people please understand that while you're at home getting, getting eaten and all that with your kids, they're not, okay? So yes, if they have an attitude, and I'm not saying the workers to that you have a right to have an attitude, no. And you know that you're not right to have an attitude for no reason with customers who aren't doing anything to you. But customers, please understand, let's be a little sensitive with the retail workers, okay? And understand that you are not always right. And when you're not, calm it down. All right, mommies. That is all I've got for you today. I really hope you enjoy these Black Friday prep tips and I hope that you have a successful Black Friday shopping, okay? I know I'm gonna have one and I'm also gonna be vlogging my Black Friday shopping, okay? So tune in next week for my Thanksgiving day and the Black Friday shopping, okay? Thank you again all so much for watching and please leave me comments down in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. Leave them down there in the comment section below and I promise you I'm gonna read every single last one of them and if I can, I'm going to respond to every single last one of you, okay? Thank you all again so much for watching. This is the Fala La La Holiday Specials and before we go, do not forget to subscribe, people. I almost missed that. Don't forget to subscribe. Click, click that subscribe button that's going to be to the right of your screen. And don't forget to hit your notification bell so you get all your updates about every time I post. Okay? Moms, please remember that a woman who fears the Lord, her children will rise up and call her blessed. And everybody, please have a very merry mommy holiday season. Bye, guys. Merry Christmas to all and to all a good.